Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. What I want to look at in this module is how to use conditional formatting. So I've got some data on the screen there. So first of all, I want to put some conditions on this list, this total list. That's basically anything over a thousand pound will go green, anything over 500 will go yellow, and everything else will show red. So I've selected the list, I'm on the home tab, and then conditions is on the right, and then into conditions. So the first condition is cell value. So you've got options in there. Cell value is what I want to do. Is greater than 1000. Then I can set the scheme or what I want. And this one I want it to be good. Find it. So it's green. Then I'm going to add. And then I'm going to set another one. Is greater than 500. This is going to be amber or yellow. So this is like neutral. That'll do. And then the last one for this example is going to be is less than 500. And this is going to be bad, which will go red. Now, I could have put equal to there because there's obviously going to be a gap. But the process is what I'm trying to show you here. So let's have a look at that one. Click OK. And then you get the colors coming in there. Because it's based on formulas, if I change the duration in that cell there, the top one will go red. Just to undo on that. So that's the first one. Now let's type um, some figures here. 100, 75, 50, 25. And then I'm going to do a formula next to that, equals 100. Just tick that formula and then just pull that down. So this one I want to put a data bar on. So if you go back into condition, you've got this option, data bar. And you've got it on automatic maximum min, which is, I'm going to leave it on that for, to start off with. Click OK just so you can see what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. But what I want to do is take off that number. I don't want that number, and I also want to make it a maximum of 100. So if I put that to 50, let's just put that to 50. See what's happened there is the, um, the 75 has gone across. I don't want it to do that. So let's go back into condition and manage. So what I want to do here is, that's the first one. So I want to manage this one. So I'll go, go on to edit. And then I've got more options. I can change all of these, but first of all, I don't want to see these figures either, so I'm going to tick that option, display bar only, OK. Then I'm going to put this to value, and the value is going to be 0. Put this one to value, and the value is going to be 100 on that one. Click OK to that, OK again. So if I change this number to 20, that pulls it back and the 75 hasn't gone all the way across. If I put the 75 to 100, that goes all the way across. It's just scaled this bar. But that's what I want you to do and that's how I want to do it. Now another one I want to do is I'm going to click into this cell, colour it yellow and I'm going to type equals today in there with an open and close bracket, which is the computer clock. So I want to do a little scheduling example. So item date due. So this is like an, a very common one, it's a very automated schedule. So let's go for fire check, just three items I'll do. First aid check and Excel training. Let's do that and put some dates. So let's go the 10th of December 21, the 25th of December 21 and then the 1st of Feb 22 that's three dates so what I want to do is create a conditional format where I get one of each color so if it's more than 30 days away from that date I want it to show green if it's 15 days away from that date, I want it to go 15 to 30 I want it to go yellow and everything else I want to show red that's what I want to do so hopefully I've got one that's going to trigger each color so I'll go up to condition condition so the first one is going to be greater than now the difference here is I'm not I'm not typing a number in there I'm going to go and click onto that cell and then I want to do a plus 30 after that 
plus 30 and then the color for that one is going to be good so that's going to be green that's that one done then I want to add a second one so this is going to be also greater than click on there click on the yellow cell and then do plus 15 plus 15 and this one wants to be yellow so that's going to be neutral neutral and then the last one is going to be less than less than or equal to actually that plus 15 so this, this the last one's always the same same duration and this one wants to be bad bad red click OK to that and then I get one of each color so as this clock moves forward this one will go red as it gets closer to the 25th as as it gets closer to that one it will also go amber first and then red so if I change that date to the 1st of February 22 that will go green if I change that one to the 1st of Feb 2022 that will go green so that's just a, a very quick look at putting conditional format on a calc spreadsheet so hopefully that was of use to you thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one